So in this video, we are going to take a look at the customizer and how we can change fonts in, in your page, in your project using the typography stack. So add the typography stack to the page just under customizer and let's choose, let's begin with a Google font. Now open a Google font page I have myself a uh, open page here and let's choose a font here let's choose this dog dogdo font so let's take a look a lead and take a look also what is available it's available the regular for 100 and let's use it dogdo so enter this name right here Dogdo and what is uh, the Dogdo? it's a cursive font alright so choose cursive let's assign it to typography 1 and the loader will be for uh, 400 we are ok so what you have here we have the Dogdo font assigned to typography one so I am going back to customizer and say that the headings font will be typography stack and typography one so my headings will be assigned to typography one okay let's add a heading stack <coughs> let's add um, first let's add a uh, container and then a heading okay and let's preview so we have the Dogdo here you can change the font you can see that in the font chooser in the heading stack we have choose the customizer setting we can choose directly the font at typography one and we have it will have the same effect so let's go back and let's choose another Google font for uh, the body let's go back and let's choose Lato and let's take a look at Lato and what's available, what's available for Lato it's available a lot of styles let's choose the regular 400 so Lato I know that Lato is sans serif but you can take a look here mm, oh, I just erase it Lato let's choose it again just to see it's a sans serif font it's, a it's the fallback sans serif and assign it to typography 2 because we have already typography 1 assigned it typography 2 so if you go back to our heading and instead of typography 1 you choose typography 2 you have the Lato um, font there ok that's, that's it for the customizer the same thing you can do for the body um, and assign fonts to the typography stack or choose one of the web safe fonts and that's all for this video on a future video, we're going to take a deeper look at the typography and how to add, for example, local fonts to the project.